Good morning, everybody. Um, my claim today is that uh, ethnic diversity is important in education. Um, being able to communicate with different types of people uh, in the world, especially in good classes like this, you gotta, it's, you know, it's important to understand their, you know, their culture, their background, and where they come from. You know, especially in America, uh, America is the still growing as the most diverse nation in the world, and uh, um, it's a, I think it's a critical, you know, to be able to understand and learn how to communicate with different types of people, you know, while you're going through life. Um, but unfortunately, in America, the representation of this diversity isn't, you know, isn't equal or fair in uh, higher higher states like, uh, you know, the, state, the United States Senate. Uh, the United States Senate has had only um, 20 minorities. And there's this all the time. Everybody does this. Right? <laughs> Not just in the time. Um, the United States Senate has had um, only 20 minorities uh, go through their, or hold a position in the United States Senate in the, its past 110 years history. Um, currently, only three senators are holding a position that are of a minority, and there's 100 senators in the United States. It's only 3%. Um, unfortunately, um, or in my opinion, I think that the highest or that like the focus of America is to you know advance through education. So in my opinion, education is where it should start from. If you think about it, if the demographics of a uh, let's say an elementary school are pretty equal, you know it should be a matriculating process to where it'll go through higher education. Yet the highest of education uh, recorded or usually like a prestigious high uh, university would be like Harvard. Um, the demographics of their graduating class in t of 2009, of the 22,000 people that, that were graduating, 12% uh, were Asian, 6% were African American, and only 5% were Hispanic. On the majority, 43% were white or Caucasian, not to mention the, you know, the 20% the of, um, the 20% and more of the transfers from international that were usually, the majority of those were from England anyways. Um, you know, th these are the types of, uh, this is the high, this is like the people that, usually the people that graduate from high universities end up joining into our national politics. Uh, politicians such as senators, you know, have a big influence on our, edu on, on everything. They have a big influence and they make decisions that influence us as a whole. Um, senators have also have a good reputation of becoming, you know, the President of the United States, like, um, like Mike's uh, relatives, William and Benjamin Henry, they became, they were senators first, and then they became uh, uh, the president, not to mention, you know, figures like JFK and our current president, Obama. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, minorities should just, you know, do their, do their job and go up and take over, you know, America or anything. I'm just saying that, you know, America as a whole, the demographics should be equally represented in, in uh, state affairs, like, you know, and I think that it starts from education at the beginning. Yeah.